Well, I think he just sat up there and uh, you just watched him in his interview. Obviously, he speaks very well. Uh, he's passionate for the game. He's obviously, uh, he has a lot of knowledge for the sport of hockey. I thought the one thing, um, you know, that I liked was, you know, when they're talking about, you know, how are the Detroit Red Wings going to play? And uh, obviously, Blash has, uh, he has a philosophy. He has an idea. He obviously understands the personnel that's up here in the Detroit Red Wings. And, and he's going to find a way to maximize uh, everyone's potential in that dressing room. Like I said, he, he's like a parent that speaks well to kids. You know, I guess the only difference is dealing with veterans. Uh, he was here as an assistant coach a few years ago, but um, and I didn't really have a chance to work with him too much there. But uh, like I said, he's great with people. The players respect him, and that's a great start. You know, I've obviously been fortunate enough to play uh, play with Z, Pav, and, and Kroner, and those guys. They're 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 outstanding people, and obviously they're outstanding hockey players. And uh, you know, they're going to do whatever they can to make sure that this is a smooth transition for Blash. Um, they're passionate about winning. They're passionate about being Detroit Red Wings, and just like Jeff Blash is. So the expectation is not going to change. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, who's behind the bench here. The expectations for this hockey club is that uh, that they're going to win hockey games and they're going to be successful and uh, I think that's obviously going to be a tradition that Blash is going to carry on and he's got a fantastic leadership group in that locker room right now and a very competitive group of guys as well. The bottom line is uh, you know Blash is uh, is a guy that's been successful everywhere he's been so uh, he knows he knows the expectations that he's going to put on himself, the expectations of how his team's going to play. Um, obviously, he's in a process right now of, uh, of naming uh, assistant coaches that he's going to work with. So I'd probably say over the next couple of weeks, uh, that'll all be kind of kind of zipped up and done. And, and then from there, he's, he's going to go to work. And, uh, you know, the one thing, uh, obviously, uh, he's got a tremendous work ethic. Uh, he worked with a coach that, that uh, you know, is very detail-orientated. And, and I'm probably sure he's going to take a lot of stuff from, from, from people that he's worked with and put it into put it into his game and in, into the way he coaches but bottom line I you know I've, I've seen him in, in Grand Rapids I've seen him uh, run practices obviously I've seen him you know the, the way he handles his bench and the one thing that everybody's seen here in Detroit is uh, you know how the guys that have played for him have come up and been able to be successful and that's a credit to Jeff Blaschel.